Thank you very much this morning. Lord, you have called us together at thy table. We pray, Father, that you may pray for us the prayer of God. But dear Heavenly Father, the meeting is thine. We pray, Father, that you may conduct it as thou wilt for our benefit, for our benefit and for thine own glory. We want to remember our brothers and sisters who have made the way we have made this morning. Those that you have called by your name. Lord, we pray that you may speak to them. And Father, feed them with the bread of life. Amen. Lord, give us the spiritual strength that we need Amen. in this journey, Amen. even as we wait for the coming of the Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, even for all our needs, Amen. we bring them to thee. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, because in this world, we are sustained by thee and thee alone. Amen. Like Israel in that foreign, foreign land, mm -hmm. in Egypt, Lord, you kept them in Goshen, mm -hmm. took care of them, Lord, in every way. Mm -hmm. And when it came for the time, Father, to depart, mm -hmm. Lord, your great hand was with me. Amen. We are also sojourners and pilgrims in this world. Amen. Father, we pray that you may sustain us Amen. when we also remember thy promise mm -hmm. that before this church goes for the rapture, mm -hmm. Father, Lord, we shall witness mm -hmm. that God is with his children. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we know that precious Lord, no word that goeth out of my mouth mm -hmm. returneth unto thee, boy, for accomplishing that which it was purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, Heavenly Father, we pray that you have, you have your own way, Amen. even Lord, as we wait for the promises of the Lord. Amen. Grant these things is our prayer Amen. in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.
imekaa ha, haiko wazi katika Biblia. Haiko wazi. Kwa sababu kule upande ule mwingine hakuna maelezo itakayo kuwako. Biblia inasema kwamba tutajua kama vile tunavyojulikana. We shall know as we are. No. Na Mungu mwenyewe tutamjua vile alivyo. Kwa hivyo hakuna hakuna sasa mambo tutakao jifunza upande ule ni wakati gani? <coughs> Now, tulikuwa na somo hilo hapa je huru Mexedek ni nani? Na tutakaona Mexedek ambaye alikutana na Ibrahimu akitoka vita. Na Ibrahimu akampa fugu la kumi Melkizedek akampa kata na nini? Na divai. Melkizedek alafu mbaliko mengine inasema hana baba wala mama hana mwanzo wala mwisho tukija Yesu Kristo Waibrania 13 na inasema kwamba Yesu Kristo ni yeye jana leo na hata milele alafu Mungu mwenyewe anasema Mungu Mungu au Mungu wa milele the eternal god na yeye huyu ni Melkizedek hana mwanzo wala mwisho atiadumuye siku zote na hakuna mwingine anayedumu milele ila Mungu. Kwa hivyo yeye ndiye alikutana na Ibrahim. Yeye ndiye alikutana na Ibrahim. Lakini somo letu asubuhi leo kutoka ni kutoka Waibrania tatu kibungu cha kwanza. Tulikuwa na somo hili lakini nataka I want to try to narrow it down a bit. Maybe narrow it down a bit. So nilikutanisha mawazo mawili ndio kutanisha mawazo mawili holy brethren partakers of the heavenly calling ndugu watakatifu wa shirika wa mwito wa mbinguni na leo nataka kuzungumza juu ya sehemu hiyo ya pekee inayosema a heavenly calling mwito wa mbinguni wa ki mwito wa kimbinguni mwito wa kimbinguni heavenly heavenly calling Now, mwa mlango wa tatu wa Hebrania kifungu cha kwanza hapo inasema wherefore holy brethren partakers of the heavenly calling consider the apostle and high priest of our profession Christ Jesus yeah. kwa hiyo ndugu watakatifu wa shirika wa mwito wa kimbinguni Mtafakarini sana mtume na kuhani mkuu wa ma maungamo yetu Yesu Kristo. Yeah. Mtume wa maungamo yetu Yesu Kristo. Si. Maneno ambayo nataka tuunze juu yake ni hayo. Ah uh, mwito wa kimbinguni. Mwito wa kibiguni. Heavenly calling. and recalling mwito wa kibinguni nataka utike masikio yako vizuri mwito wa kibinguni mwito wa kibinguni na tulisema ya kwamba tulisema ya kwamba Mungu Mungu alikuwa na mpango wake na mpango huo wa Mungu aliyokuwa nao uh, ulikuwa mpango bao alikuwa atautimiza ndio he had to execute the plan that was in, in himself alikuwa peke yake Mungu na yeye alikuwa roho so Mungu ni roho god is is a spirit alikuwa roho na alikuwa peke yake. Nilisema hivi. Alijumu peke yake na alikuwa roho. Si. Na alikuwa na sifa ndani yake zile ambazo tunaziita kwa Kiingereza attributes. Attributes. Alikuwa na kile ali alicho na ilikuwa ilikuwa ifike nyakati tofauti adhi adhihirishe kile alicho si kwa mfano alikuwa baba he was a father potentially lakini ilikuwa ifike wakati awe na hao watoto na tunajua ya kwamba kama 
pili watoto wanakuwa ndani yetu chini kweli Mungu naye watoto wake wanakuwa ndani yake wanakuwa ndani yake tofauti yetu na Mungu ni moja tu sikiliza vizuri tofauti yetu na Mungu ni moja ya kwamba sisi tunahitaji you have to excuse me sisi tunahitaji tuoe ili tutoe watoto walio ndani yetu right na kwa hivyo mtoto wetu anasema baba na na mama Mungu hahitaji kuoa Mungu anatoa watoto wake ndani yake na ndio maana watoto wa Mungu hawasemi baba na mama wanasema baba watoto wa Mungu wana wazazi wawili wana mzazi mmoja na wao watoto wanasema baba yao yuko mbinguni Because they are born from above. Alafu hapa duniani akiwazaa na kuweka hapa wanakuwa duniani si kwao ni wageni na wasafiri. Amen. Our citizenship is in heaven. Wenyeji wetu ni mbinguni. Now. Ni mbinguni. Of course mwa waaminio mnaelewa hiyo ni kupana shari na gani. Tunasema kila wakati si mahali paitoa mbinguni tutaenda. Si? Tutaishi wapi? Hapa. Because the Bible says, Blessed, blessed are the meek. Heri wa pole. For they shall inherit the yeah. earth. Maana watairithi ardhi. Uh, Hapa. Yeah. Ibrahim wako akitafuta inti nyingine aliona muji ukitarabuka. Hapa. Kila bacho Mungu atafanya ni kutengeneza hii dunia. Aondoe kazi yote ya mwanadamu asimamishe maendeleo yake mwenyewe. Amen. God will set up his own his own civilization. Baba ina magari, haina manyumba kama haya na vitu kama hivyo. His own civilization. Hakuna magojo, hakuna nini na kadhalika. Sakuwa maajabu mno lakini it will be where. Yeah. Yeah. So mwanadamu, Adam alipewa ardhi. Akaipoteza. Ibilisi akawa hapa tukawa watoto wa Mungu wakawa ni masquota lakini hatuna budi baada kukombolewa after we have been redeemed, redeemed baada kukombolewa hatuna budi kutukombolea kurithi na Mungu alicheza mchezo huu katika agano la kale he prepared that shadow in the old testament si mambo yetu tunayafahamu now kwa hivyo Mungu alikuwa na sifa ndani yake alikuwa baba na watoto walikuwa ndani yake alikuwa ndani yake that's right see Ali, aliwaju, alijua aliwajua na alijua ni wagapi alijua atazaa watoto wagapi na yeye ni roho na kile kinachozaliwa na roho ni roho maana Mungu ni roho akizaa mtoto wake mtoto wake ni roho maana kila mbegu inazaa aina yake aina yake, aina yake. Mungu hawakoti mwanadamu kule barabara anamwambia mko yeye nataka uwe mtoto wangu. Hata wewe ufanye namna hiyo. Mtoto wako ni kuzaa na sana. Na yeye wa Mungu ni kuzaa na sana. Anazaa. Na kama Mungu na kama Mungu ni roho, mtoto wake ni roho. Kama Mungu ni mtakatifu, akitoa mtoto ndani yake, huyo mtoto ni mtakatifu. See? That's exactly Mungu hangangani na sikiliza Mungu hangangani na mtoto wake mtoto wake anajaribu kuwa mbaya Mungu anajaribu na anajaribu kuangana naye aya mzuri Mungu hafanyi kazi kama hiyo Biblia inasema that which is born of God does not commit sin yule kile yule aliyezolewa na Mungu hatendi dhambi hatendi dhambi hatendi dhambi ni mtakatifu kama Mungu mwenyewe sasa Mungu alikuwa na sifa hizo, alikuwa mponyaji. Hata kabla hakuja kuwa kitu cha kuponywa. Hata hakuna mwanadamu, lakini kuwa mponyaji ilikuwa ndani yake. Kuwa baba ilikuwa ndani yake. Kuwa mkopozi ilikuwa ndani yake. Kuwa mwokozi kulikuwa ndani yake. Si ndio maana hiyo? Na alikuwa peke yake na yeye alikuwa ni roho. Hiyo ndio tunasema ya kwamba hapo mwanzo kulikuweko neno. Na we don't have time to go into those 
sababu naweza kutafuta waweza kutafuta what CD usikilize vile tumefundisha jambo hilo hapo awali si hapo mwanzo kulikuweko neno hapo mwanzo hapo mwanzo let's read that scripture some andiko hilo kama moja I don't know to stray very far ni concentrate na somo letu hapo mwanzo na Yohana moja kifungu cha kwanza Yohana moja kifungu cha kwanza Na hapo tutasoma kitabu cha mwanzo I'm also going to read Genesis <coughs> Genesis 1 and John 1 Mtaaza na Yohana moja ni, ni, Niende Mwazo moja Yohana moja In the beginning was the word And the word was with God And the word was God Hapo mwanzo Kulipuwa kwa neno Na ye neno alikuwa kwa mungu Na ye neno alikuwa mungu Alikuwa Mungu Na maana tunahitaji mtakatifu tukisoma bi kama naye neno alikuwa eh? alikuwa Mungu alikuwa kwa kwa Amu. Mungu naye neno alikuwa Amu. Mungu kama neno alikuwa, alikuwa kama neno alikuwa Mungu na neno alikuweko kwa Mungu na neno alikuwa Mungu sasa nikisema Mungu alikuwa kwa kwa Mungu. Amen. Mungu alikuwa kwa kwa Mungu. Sasa utasema hiyo ina maana gani? Naendelea na gani? Alafu Musa alipoenda mlimani akaja na amri kumi moja ilisema kwamba ham, ha? hamutakuwa na Mungu mwingine kando yangu. Yesu alipokuwa hapa duniani akasema na Marko 12 Sikilizeni enyi Israeli Bwana Mungu wenu Bwana ni mmoja Bwana ni mmoja Bwana ni mmoja Isaia 9 inasema tumezaliwa mtoto tumepewa mtoto mwanamume ufalme utakuwa begani mwake atakuwa mshauri wa ajabu huyu mtoto na atakuwa Mungu mwenye nguvu huyu mtoto baba wa milele huyu mtoto mfalme wa amani huyu mtoto amen amen na Isaia 43 Isaia 43 11 anasema nyinyi ndio mashahidi wangu asema Bwana mpate kujua na kusadiki ya kwamba mimi ndiye kabla yangu hakukuumbwa Mungu mwingine wala wala ba, baada yangu hakutakuwa mwingine mimi na mimi Bwana ndiye mwokozi mimi mimi ndiye Bwana na kando yangu hapana and beside me there is no savior savior si sasa hapa inasema hapo mwanzo kulikuweko neno neno alikuwepo kwa Mungu na neno alikuwa Mungu hapo mwanzo inasema mwanzo tatu inasema kifungu cha tatu inasema all things were made by him vitu vyote vilifanyika na na huyo ama na yeye vitu vyote vilifanyika na na yeye nani Moja kidogo nani nani moja kidogo Waebrania 11 Hebrews 11 Nani huyu aliupa vitu vyote Na neno ni nani ni Mungu Waebrania 11 Hebrews 11 Waebrania 11 kifungu cha 3 verse 3 Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God 
Unasoma hiyo? Kwa imani twafahamu ya kuwa ulimwengu uliumbwa na neno la Mungu. Uliumbwa na neno la Mungu. Na hapo Mwanza kulikweko neno. Naye neno alikuwa kwako kwa Mungu. Naye neno alikuwa Mungu. Vitu vyote vilivanyika kwa kwa yeye. Nani? Neno. Nani? Neno. At by faith uh, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God so that things which we which are seen were not things which do appear. Kwa imani tofahamu ya kuwa ulimwengu uliumbwa na neno la Mungu hata vitu vinavyoonekana havikufanyika kwa vitu vilivyo dhahiri. Na neno ambaye aliupa ulimwengu ni nani? Ni Mungu. Wacha kidogo Genesis 1:1. Mwanzo moja moja. Mwanzo moja moja. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Hapo mwanzo Mungu aliziumba mbingu na nchi. Hapo mwanzo na nataka kuhimiza neno hilo tulikuwa nalo hapa mwanzo mwanzo. Don't forget that that word that usisahau neno hilo. Beginning. Mwanzo. Hapo mwanzo Mungu aliumba mbingu na nchi. Na hapa katika Yohana inasema kwa Yohana katika Yohana inasema kwa kwa neno Mungu huyu ni nani? Ni neno. Na hapo Hebrewia 11 inasema kwamba ulimwengu uliupwa na na neno la Mungu, neno. Hapo mwanzo Mungu aliupa bingu na inchi. Yeye ni neno. Lakini inataka kuhimiza jambo moja ili tuingie katika somo letu. Katika somo letu. Na usikilize, inasema hapo mwanzo Swali so, langu ni Mungu ana mwanzo? Good. Mungu hana mwanzo. Lakini hapa tunaona inanena kuhusu nini? Mwanzo. Ni nini kilikuwa kwa kabla ya mwanzo? Ati hapo mwanzo kulikuweko neno. Na neno limeletwa mwa mwanzo. Naye neno alikuwa kwa 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 Mungu na neno alikuwa Mungu. Na neno sasa neno neno linaletwa mwanzo. Na listen, neno linaletwa mwanzo. Na Mungu mwenyewe hana mwanzo. Kwa hivyo neno na ndio maana tulisema hapa if I just go straight to that Tulisema hapa tukasema kwamba Mungu kabla ya mwanzo alikuwako. Kabla ya mwanzo yeye alikuwa. Sababu yeye hana hana mwanzo wala mwisho. Alikuwako kabla ya mwanzo na alikuwa roho. Ndio tukasema akiwa roho sasa Mungu akiwa roho aka aka akawa na mawazo. He had thoughts. Mawazo alikuwa na na wazo au mawazo ndani yake akiwa ro, roho roho haya mawazo hakuwa ameidhihirisha mawazo yake lakini alipodhihirisha mawazo yake wazo likidhihirishwa inakuwa sasa si wazo tena sasa ni nini ni neno a thought expressed is no longer a thought brother wazo likishaelezwa ama likishaonyeshwa si wazo tena it's not the word inakuwa sasa ni neno amen kwa hiyo kama wazo likidhihirishwa ni, ni neno hilo neno lilikuwa lilikuwa wa? wazo kwanza ndio maana unasikia kwamba naye neno alikuwa kwa Mungu kwa, mungu. kwa maana neno ni wazo limeelezwa limedhihirishwa because the word is the thought eh? expressed Huyo ni Mungu alikuwa roho akiwa na attributes. Si? Na sikiliza. Mungu huyu huyu sasa akafanyika neno. Akafanyika neno. Akiwa neno sasa ataupa ulimwengu. The world. The world. Ati ulimwengu uliubwa na neno la na neno na neno hili ambalo liliupa ulimwengu kabla halijaupa lilikuwa kwa wazo tu wazo ambalo ninataka kuupa ulimwengu lakini ni wazo lakini nikisema kuwe kuwe hii 
Sasa si wazo tena sasa ni neno likaupa dunia. Amen. Now. Now sikiliza. Mungu huyo ambaye ni roho alikuwa kwa roho. Alafu akafanyika ne neno. Mungu huyo huyo nilisema ndani yake alikuwa baba alikuwa baba na watoto wenyewe walikuwa ndani yake watoto walikuwa ndani yake na tunatusema hapa ya kwamba Mungu akiwa roho akafanyika ne? neno na katika hali yake ya neno nasikiliza katika hali yake ya neno Mungu mwenyewe akatengeneza aka, Mungu mwenyewe akiwa katika hali yake ya neno hiyo hali ndio alikuwa na mwili ambao tunaita mwili wa Theophany mwili wa Theophany <coughs> huo mwili ndio alimtokea Ibrahimu nao si Ibrahimu alitokewa na Mungu Mungu alikuja kwa Ibrahimu na malaika wakapi wawili na alipoenda na Ibrahimu wa malaika wawili wakaenda Sodoma Ibrahimu akabaki na nani na Mungu na Mungu huyo aliyebaki na yeye hakujaribu hakupaswa hakuhitaji kuambiwa Ibrahimu anaitwa nani alijua jina lake hakuhitaji kuambiwa mke wake anaitwa nani alijua jina la mke wake hakuhitaji kuambiwa hawana wat, watoto alijua hayo yote na hata wakati alipoambia Ibrahimu akomba ipatayo wakati kama huu mwaka mwakani utapata nini mtoto Sara akiwa nyuma ndani ya hema Biblia inasema kwamba alicheka katika moyo, moyo. na alipocheka katika moyo neno likajua ame amecheka amecheka kwa sababu Mariko anasema hapa katika Waebrania 4:12 Hebrews 4:12 Waebrania 4:12 Waebrania 4:12 Now listen to this. Waebrania 4:12. Na hilo neno usisahau lilikuwa pale ya Ibrahimu lilikuwa na mwili na mwili. Tulisema hapo wakati ule mwingine ule mwili ambao hili neno lilikuwa nao si mwili kama huu. Right? Ni mwili wa ki wa kiungu. Unaitwa theophany. Theophany simu ile ambao ugekufa simu ile ambao ugezeeka ni mwili wa viofani neno lilikuwa katika ule mwili si na ngoja nikwambie alafu hapo Yohana hiyo hiyo moja inasema neno mwenyewe Yohana 1:14 let's read that Yohana 1:14 Yohana 1:14 Ku ku tutaanza kifungu cha 10 cha 10 what is start with verse 10 He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not Alikwako ule mwenguni hata kwa yeye ule mwengu ulipata kwako wala ulimwengu haukumtambua. He came unto his own and his own received him not. Alikuja kwa wake wala waliwa wake hawakumpokea. Hawakumpokea. Si. Kuna maneno haya mengine 12 13 12 13. Habari inasema but as many as received him to them gave he power power uwezo wa kuita power of trust uwezo wa kubadilisha power to become the sons of god bali wote waliompokea aliwapa uwezo wa kufanyika watoto wa Mungu uwezo wa kufanyika watoto wa Mungu kuna uwezo fulani ukiupata unakuwa wewe si binti ya Joseph na Mary wewe ni binti ya Mungu ya Mungu uweza huo akikupa. Unakuwa sasa wewe ni mtoto wake. 
but there is that power that changes you. Kuna uwezo huo unaweza kukubadilisha. Even to them that believe on his name, ndio wale waliaminiwa jina lake. Kumi na tano nasema which are born waliozaliwa not of blood si kwa damu nor of the will of the flesh wala si kwa mapenzi ya mwili nor of the will of man wala si kwa mapenzi ya mwanadamu but of god bali na mungu bali na na mungu na mungu bali na mungu waliozaliwa na nani na mungu alafu Yesu akasema Yohana 3 Yesu akasema lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili nasikiliza lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili ni Yohana 3 Niko Tema akasema mtu aingie katika chuku la mama yake azaliwe tena Yesu akasema kinachozaliwa na mwili ni mwili na kinachozaliwa na roho ni roho na Mungu ni roho na kin, anachozaa mtoto wake anayezaa naye ni nini ni roho See this child is a spirit mtoto wake ni roho na hiyo roho kulikana na warumi nane ndio ina ukizaliwa na roho mtoto wa Mungu ni hiyo roho anaiweka katika mwili huu roho yake anaweka katika hii mwili huyo hiyo roho ni mtoto wake ni mtoto wa Mungu baba ni roho mtoto wake naye ni roho na hiyo roho ikiwa ndani yangu inaita ila roho nyingine ba? baba baba na roho hii na ile ni nini ni moja ni sehemu ya yake Now. Sasa hapa Yohana 1:14 inasema John 1:14 inasema Yohana 1:14 inasema And the word was, was made flesh. Na ye neno alifanyika mwili. Neno akafanyika mwili. Mwili, mwili gani? Mwili huu akavaa mwili huu. Bibi anasema kwamba alikuwa anakuja kutuokoa na kwa sababu tulivaa mili hii naye Mungu mwenyewe Isaia 43 anasema kwamba mimi pekee ndiye Bwana na kando yangu hamuna mwokozi mwingine mimi ndiye nakuja kuwakoboa na kwa sababu wale ambao walikuja kukoboa hapo walikuwa na shiriki damu na nini na mwili naye mkobozi akaona ashiriki damu na mwili akaja hapa akaitwa Immanuel Mungu pamoja nasi akavaa mwili kama wetu akasikia jaa kama sisi akachoka kama sisi akasikia kulala kama sisi na bidaso makwaba kwa kuwa watoto anaokuja kukoboa na shiriki damu na mwili ye pia akaona atafanana na na hao alipo alipokuja hapa akasema kwamba sasa nyinyi ni ndugu zangu You are now my brethren. At kwa jinsi hii haoni haya kutuita ndugu zake. Katuita ndugu zake. Ni nani huyo anatuita ndugu zake? Mumbaji we? Wetu. Akafanana na sisi. Nasema nyinyi nyinyi watoto wa Mungu nimekuja kuwakoboa mliopotea na mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu. Mimi ni mwana wa Mungu. Ni ni ni, ni, ni kiunani ikiunani kwa mtu ambaye hajui Mungu it's Greek to somebody who does not know God lakini ni ufunuo sio so revelation yeah. ni ufunuo kaja hapa kutukomboa so hata sheria hii hata ukombozi wake alipomcheza pale agano la kale when he played salvation or redemption in the old testament alisema kwamba mtu ako, ako, akiwa mtumwa akobolewa na ndugu yake ndugu yake nasi tukiwa watumwa wa dhabi tulihitaji kukobolewa na ndugu yake Yes. Kwa sababu tuko na ndugu ambaye yeye mwenyewe hahitaji ukobozi Mungu mwenyewe akajitoa awe ndugu yetu ili awe mkobozi. Na baada kutukopoa yeye anarudi nini? Mungu anasema anatoka kwa Mungu na rudi kwa nani? Kwa Mungu. Na yeye ni nani? Huyu ambaye anatoka kwa Mungu na rudi kwa yeye ni nani? Isaia anasema yeye ni nani? Ni baba wa ni Mungu mwenye nguvu. Amekuja hapa kabaa mwili anasema anatoka kwa Mungu na rudi kwa Mungu. Ni bila tu ilisema pale kwamba naye neno alikuwa kwa kwa, kwa Mungu. Yaani natoka ofisi hii na kuja ofisi hii nikimaliza kazi ya ofisi hii narudi ile ofisi tu. Amen. That's why it causes confusion among the people. Ndio maana inaleta tatanisho kwa watu. Because it's a revelation. Sababu ni ufunuo. God is known by revelation. Mungu anajulikana kwa ufunuo. Okay. 
Nataka sasa kurudi pale. Ati neno akabanyika mwili. Usimeni flesh and draw water among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Utukufu kama wamana wapekea kwa kai kwa baba. Kama wa. Haisemi utukufu wamana wapekea. Inasema utukufu kama. Kwa sopo hemi. Sao tumezali wa mwana. Tumepua mtoto mwana ume. Si mustiana mwana ume. Na huyu ni baba wa mirele. Na ni mungu mwenye kufu. Kwa hivyo ajapo kama mtoto. Anakuja. Ni mungu mwenyewe. Anakuja kama mtoto. Anakaa kama mwana wapeke. Kama. Si mwana wapeke ni kama. Atokae kwa baba. Lakini ni ye? Isaiah siya nasema ni kongu wa mirele ye? Amen. Isaiah siya si si ya balasi mwote? Amen. Kwa hivyo anakaa kama mwana wa. Wa peke lakini ni nani? Si baba wa mirele? Ye? 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 Si? Ye? Mwaba ya mungu ni makuu sana na nikiridi. Na imefichwa sana. Imefichwa sana. Na uto kile. Sasa. Si. Now. Sasa. Alipo mtebele Ibrahim tukua tasema. Alikuwa na mwili. Na mwili. Na ule mwili ya liyo kuwa nao. Alipo mtebele Ibrahim. Si huu alio tebea nao hapa duniani. Huu mwili ya bawa alitebea hapa duniani nao. Ni mwili kama huu. Na ni yule yule aliyekuwa na Ibrahim pale na mwili ye huyu huyu alivaa mwili aina ye? aina ye. Na baada ya kumaliza kazi ya kutukomboa sawa so, ilibidi awe na mwili kama huu sawa so, tulihitaji moja wa kutufia. Na angeweza kubwa akiwa theophany. Kwa hivyo ilibidi awe na mwili unaweza kuwa kuwawa. Si? Kwa kuwa wana watoto wanashiriki damu na mwili ya alishiriki bibio hivyo. Pilipasa yeye apanane na duguza zake katika mabo yote. Kabaa mwili. Lakini baada ya kutukopoa, akarudi mile. Halibia kuwa. Back to the world. Halibia kuwa neno. Now, hapa tuyo tulikuwa tunasema sasa hindi. Na uskiliza. Kumuka na nzukuza kuhusu mwito wa nini? 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 Mwito wa kimbinguni. Mungu hui walikuwa na watoto dani yake. Na hawa watoto na alikuwa anataka kuwa na ufarme baadaye na aishi katika ule ufarme na watoto wake. Na katoa wa kwanza anaitwa Adamu. Adamu alikuwa mtu wa roho tunajua na hapo ana mwili. Mwili. Actually baada ya Mungu kumuumba na kila kitu na alifanana na Mungu, ndani yake alikuwa mwanamume na mwanamke. Mungu akamaliza akapumzika. Baadaye ndiye alikuja akatengeneza mwili wa nini? Wa udogo akaweka huyu mtu wa roho ndani ya mwili wa nini? Wa udogo. Baadaye akagawanya huu mwili wa udogo, akagawanya sehemu moja, iwe mwili wa mwanaume, iwe mwili wa mwanamke, akachukua hiyo roho hiyo hiyo, akaweka sehemu kwa mwili huu na sehemu kwa mwili huu. Ni sasa wakiwa katika mwili hii because Adam got a body like this. Sababu Adam alikuwa na mwili kama huu wetu. Hawa alikuwa na mwili kama huu. Na bali ni kwambie, mwili huu this kind of body aina hii ya mwili aden body mwili wa dunia wa subject to temptation uko chini ya kujaribiwa ama unaweza kujaribiwa huu mwili unajaribiwa ibilisi hanga wajaribu akiwa hali ya roho aliwajaribu akiwa katika hali gani hii na ndio tunasema kwamba waka badala ya walete watoto badala ya walete watoto duniani vile ilivyopaswa kuwa pale mwanzo wao Mungu aliambia mtu wa roho ya kwamba nendeni haikusema mzani na hakuwa kiwabia wawi alikuwa akiambia mmoja ambaye alikuwa mwanamume na mwanamke anamwambia enda uonge zeke sienda uzane na alikuwa wa roho na alikuwa sehemu ya roho nani wa Mungu enda kuongezeke go and multiply na unauliza je kunaweza kuwa na kuongezeka kuongezeka pasipo kuzali kuzaana yes ndio 
Mungu anasaa watoto pasipokuwa. Mm. Na Yesu akasema Yohana 12:24 akasema chembe ya ndano isipoanguka adhili ikaba inadumu okay. lakini ikiba nasikia kana tajwa cha ufalme. Hiyo jina yote ni takataka. Au mm. na Na enda kwa enda kwa enda kama kwa Daudi Yule mtu ambaye tunasoga na yeye jina lake ni so, 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 so. Eda kwa Ibrahim. Ibrahim alipata mtoto mmoja na na, na Hagar. Ishmael. Mtu ambaye si wa ufalme. Akapata mwingine mmoja kama tu na Sara. Na mahali hiyo moja alitoka kugetoka mwingine lakini Mungu alifuga kuna haja kumpa Ibrahim mwingine na Sara asiye wao wafano baadaye Ibrahim alioa mke mwingine baada ya kifo cha Sara hao unawasikia do you hear of them Yakobo alipewa wawili na alikaa miaka 20 baada ya harusi akapata tuntu hizi a Yakobo amini Isaka miaka 20 akapata tuwili tu mapasha na kamoja Mungu alisema ni ni ni, ni, ni punda mwitu nani huyo sawa ati ni punda mwitu baba yake akapata tu kamoja sikatosha Mungu Mungu akiniambia mimi kama Mungu akaniuliza alipewa watoto wangapi anambia nitakupa watoto kumi lakini ni moja tu wa bibuni nataka wagapi kwambia let just give me that one hiyo ni tisa wachana si ndio mungu 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 waalia wake hakujali kama mtu ana mtoto au hana god did care mungu alia mungu kama zakaria zakaria alia mzaa nani yohana mpatizaji hakupenda mungu Mungu hakupenda Zakaria sana na Elizabeth na kama aliwapenda sana mbona akawanyima watoto? Aliwapa kama na hiyo kamoja ndiye akasema kamoja hii ndio takatakuwa bridge ya agano la kale na agano jipi. Na hiyo yatosha. Na mahali Yohana alitoka sikuketoka mwingine. Vitu vingine baba vinatusumbua ni kazi bure tu. God knows what the best for us. Mungu anajua yaliyo mazuri kwetu. Au kile kile kizuri kwetu. God knows. Mungu anajua. Sasa hivi kila bacho naita baraka si baraka mita. Kwa Mungu si baraka. Wewe unakiita baraka. Anasema my ways are not your ways. Neither are your ways Jazangu si njia zenu wala njia zenu si njia. Alipo not on your own understanding. Usitegemee akili zetu wenyewe. Zenu wenyewe. Sasa hivi. Sasa Mungu akapanga hivi. Kila macho inakuwa ni hivi. Sikiliza sasa. Inakuwa hivi. Sasa remember heavenly calling mwito wa kimbinguni. Mwito wa kimbinguni. Sasa <coughs> Mungu anapokuja sasa wakati wa wote kizazi chochote kuwaita walio wake kuwaita walio wake Biblia inasema kwamba aliwajua kabla kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu vile vile nataka kusoma andiko lingine hapa ufunuo 13 ufunuo 13 <coughs> kuzu kuzu hii system <coughs> system hii ambayo ina, ina il, Mungu alisema itakuja katika dunia this system naitwa the beast or the image of the beast sana ya mnyama mimi nataka kuzunguzia jambo hilo wakati mmoja hapa the image of of the beast sana ya mnyama the image of the beast the image of the beast na beast ni nani Romia 
And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were, uh, were cast out into him. Yule nyoka akatupwa, nyoka wa zamani, aitua ya ibilisi na shetani, audanganyaye uli mwengu wote, akatupwa hata nchi, na malaika zake, wakatupwa kwa moja nae. Chee, wakatupwa kwa moja nae. Alafu hapa nane, mwanangu wa kumina tatu nasema, ya kwamba, <coughs> akatekeneza, na imetekenezo, the beast, the image is there. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb. Slain from the foundation of the world. Abao magina yao haya kuadi kwa katika kitabu cha uzima chama na kono aliye chinjwa kabla kwe kwa bisi ya dunia. Skiri za mzuri kabla jana adi kodi bini. Ati hui mo na kono. Skiri za ati hui mo na kono aliye chinjwa lini kabla kwe kwa bisi ya dunia. Nene viki ni aliye chinjwa kule ya Jerusalem. Hale kapa. Ati <laughs> kibele kila anafanya ni sasa kutekeleza mpago ambao alitunga ndani yake akatekeleza ndani yake akamaliza ndani yake si ndio alimaliza ndani yake hebu nikusomea ndiko hilo na lingine hapa petro wa kwanza first peter petro wa kwanza <coughs> Mwangwa kwanza, first Peter chapter 1 Petro wa kwanza, mwangwa kwanza Kumina nani Kumina nani Kumina nani First Peter 1, 18 Kacha tsome For as much as you know that You are not redeemed with corruptible things As silver and gold From your vain composition received by tradition from your fathers Hivyo vitu hivyo vitu ambavyo vilitumika katika agano la kale kukoboa mtu mtumwa ambaye ilikuwa ni kivuli cha ukobozi wa kweli uliokuwa unakuja. Right? Kulitumika fedha na dhahabu to play the shadow of the real redemption that was going to come. Cheza kivuli cha ukobozi ambao ulikuwa unakuja. Ukobozi wenyewe ambao ulichezwa pale katika njia ya kivuli but you are redeemed with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot columns nani mnafahamu ya kwamba hamkukombolewa kwa vitu viharibikavyo kama fedha na au dhahabu mpate kutoka katika mwenendo wenu usiofaa uh, kwa mapokeo ya baba zenu bali kwa damu ya thamani ya Kristo Uh, let me translate from you. But with the precious blood of Christ, bali kwa damu ya thamani ya Kristo, as of a lamb, not like a lamb, but as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Kama mwanakondo asiye na ila, asiye na wa. Who bare was for ordained before the foundation of the world? Naye aliteuliwa kabla haijawekwa misingi ya dunia but was manifest in this last times for you lakini amedhihirishwa siku hizi za mwisho kwa ajili yenu si ndio na hivyo yani kabla kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu Mungu alisema nitakuwa mkobozi nitakuwa mwokozi nitakuwa na watoto wangu ambao watapotea watazaliwa kobokopo 
nitakuja ni waafie maana nitawahukumu kifo lakini watakosa mtu wa kuwafia nitakuja nifanyike moja wao ni waafie baada ya kuwafia wamesamewa dhambi zao kutoka hapo naweza kuwazaa sasa kuna roho wangu vile nilipaza kuwazaa hiyo alipaga kwa hivyo akapaga vile atakuja hapa akapaga vile atafanyika mwanadamu akapanga vile atasurubishwa atapanga vile vile atakuja kusurubishwa hata yule atakaye msaliti akapa Judas hapo katika na kale is he not there in Utah by Judas na kazi ambayo atafanya ati wale 12 kumenipa hakuna nimepoteza ila mmoja tu yule mwana wa wa kuopotevu ili maandiko titimie tunaona alipa amepangiwa mpango wake naweza fanya kazi ya mtu mwingine wetu uwezi kuchukua nafasi ya mwingine kama ni idadi ya wale ambao ataokoa aliandika majina yao kibe kibeli aliandika kibeli si aliandika kibeli ndio maana kama wewe ni mmoja ambao ataokoa hata ukizaliwa ushikwe na nimeoni ukiwa kama mtoto kadogo uwezi kufa sababu uwezi kufa hata iwe malaria gani atakuweka mpaka siku ile utakapo kuwa mlevi na mtu mbaya sana alafu alete mhubiri aje hii sababu anakutafu maana alikuta kutafuta na kuokoa yule aliye kwa hivyo anatafuta yeye au anakutafuta anakutafuta kwa sababu jina lako li amen amen kwa hivyo wanashindana nani atajaza msikiti yake na watu wengi sana kuliko yule hiyo business ni ya ibilisi tu we are not looking for members we are not looking to fill the place with people we are we speak the word and God directs that word to that predestined soul we don't know where it is and who it is Hatujui mahali hiyo nafsi iko na ni nani sisi hatujui. Gazi yetu ni kutagaza ile habari ambayo tu tumetupa ni juu yake kuelekeza kwa moyo. Nitaonyesha jambo hilo leo. Amen. Mtu yule ni nani? He's got to direct that. Analielekeza. Amen. 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 Yeye anatafuta. Si mhubiri. Si kazi ya mhubiri. Ni yeye anatafuta kila bacha anasema sababu ye kodo wako wanajua na sauti ya mtu ya mtu ni maneno ya mtu sio leo sauti ya Mungu ni ile neno anaweka anasimulia mhubiri neno mhubiri anaenda akitangaza anakaa kama moto unaowaka mhubiri ana habari amepewa lazima ifanye nini ifikie watu wale watu wakiwa elfu kumi kumbe ni watu wawili tu ambao analenga analenga amen wale wengine wanasema wale wengine wale wengine elfu tisa na nini ni kwa nini basi anawanenea anawanenea ili siku ya hukumu Mungu naye awe wa haki that he may be justified that you are amen ikawa alijua hawaki ami amen ni anaelekeza sunaona ni neema this grace ni neema mtu wako ni neema Ah, uh, pure grace. Never take it. kwa hivyo, Biblia inasema hivi inasema, kwa hivyo si yule akimbiae, si yule atakaye, bali ni Mungu anaonyesha. Amen. Amen. Not him that call it, not him that will it, not him that that, that run it, but God who show it. Amen. Amen. Ndio maana Yesu akasema Yohana 15:15 Yesu akasema, hamkunita Hamu kunichagua mimi. Yes. You need to choose me. Hamu kunichagua. Mimi ndiye niliwa. Nichagua. Amen. Amen. Mimi ndiye niliwachagua. Ni kama vile dogo yangu alikuwa akisema hapa. Siku hizi watu wanatafuta ni dhahabu gani? Ni dhahabu gani mtajiuka? Na. Ni dhahabu gani? Si Mungu. Ni the. Sema hivi hapa hiki ni halina sheria kali kama lile nafikiri inajiuka na nini na hili Maana sheria kali sana Yaani 
you are so far from the whole thing. Uko na umba. Natoka kwa until you don't know what you are doing here in this world. Hata ujui nini unachofanya hapa ulimwenguni. Choice. Choice. Ni kama ni kama ni kama madhehebu ni kama madhehebu ni kama hotel. Ni gani nitaifanya nini? Nitaikia. Hii si namna hiyo. Kanisa si dhehebu, kanisa ni mwili wa siri wa Yesu Kristo. The church is the secret body of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, by one spirit, are we all baptized into that church? Nana natubatiza katika kanisa, sikiliza likuwa bie. Nana natubatiza, yuwana kasema, mimi na wapatiza na manji. Lakini muna una yule, yule die ubatiza watu na roho na moto. Na ye die anabatiza mtu, anamfanya wa kanisa. Amen. Amen. Bibiria sema, any members were added into the church. Na washirika wa wakawangeza katika kanisa. Nani ya wakawangeza? Wakawangeza. Na kuongezwa katika kanisa ni kuzaliwa katika kanisa. Kanisa ni jamii ya Mungu. The church is a family of God. And once you are born into that family, na maana unapozaliwa katika jamii hiyo, listen. Kila mtu hapa yuko na jamii jamii yake ya, ya ulimwengu. Everybody has a family here on earth, don't you? Okay, unaweza kuacha family yenu ujiunge na yetu? Is there any way? Kuna njia, kuna uwezekano? Wewe una family yetu. Okay, unaweza kuacha Jamii yako zime kutuka leo mimi I don't belong to this family. Mimi suwa jamii. Unaweza kusema hivi okiwa juu ya ule muti. But you still remain member of that family. Lakini bado utabakia ukiwa wa jamii hiyo. Jamii ya mungu na ya mungu hawezi kuwa. Kuwa cha soma usiwe ulijileta katika hii jamii. Ni mungu kwe. Kwa inyewe alipo kuzaa katika jamii. Iyo. Yesu alisema wale wajao kwa mungu. Hakuna anayeweza kutoa toa mikononi mwana. Amen. Amen. Now. Sasa sikiliza. Tunasema hivi. Mungu alikuwa na mawazo hayo. God has had those thoughts. Those thoughts. Mawazo hayo. Mama baba alitaka kuwa. Alitaka kuwa baba. Alitaka kuwa na watoto. Na hawa watoto wakapaga dani yake aliwachagua dani yangu iko John dani yangu iko Mary dani yangu iko Unyango dani yangu iko Munyao dani yangu iko Mr. Wood dani yangu nitamzaa siku moja baada kabla hajamzaa ibilisi akazaa Wood sasa huyu Wood nitamzaa tena hata kuwa mtu mtukutu hivyo nitamzaa tena awe mtakatifu kama mimi. Ndio maana Biblia inasema kwamba aliwakusudia wawe watakatifu. Amen. So yeye ni mtakatifu akizaa John atakuwa mtakatifu. Alafu inasema kwamba yule aliyezaliwa na Mungu hakeni dhambi. Amen. Now ikawa namna hiyo ewa cha nirudia bila nisema Mungu alikuwa roho akafanyika neno na katika hali ya neno akawa na mwili mwili wa Theophany kutoka hapo akaja hapa akavaa mwili mwili kama huu ili achukue dhambi zetu juu ya mwili huu na uwewe na mwili Jesus Christ was put to death not in spirit but in flesh Yesu Kristo aliwawa katika mwili katika mwili pekee angeweza kufa. Aliambia Pilato alimwambia Pilato alimwambia wewe nakuuliza maswali tunanyamaza. Ujui ninaweza kusema uwawe au si uwawe. Akamwambia kuna mtu anachukua uhai wangu mimi. Mimi ndiye naweka chini alafu nauchukua tena. Na saa hii naweza kuita kundi la malaika wakusiage wewe. Lakini endelea ufanye ile kazi unayofanya ili mali fanya nini? Yeah. Akanyamaza. Mm. Pilato hakujua mbele yake kulikuwa Mungu aliyeumba jua. Yes. 
na hapa na baba wili kama wa Pilato lakini ni nani Mungu mwenyewe amen hakukamatwa hakukamatwa ni yeye mwenyewe alifanya nini alijipea alizopo kuna kuna watoto wake anataka kufanya nini alijipea baba zake Amen. 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 Ni mwili tu. Mwili ulikuwa hekalo. Nasema aliharibu ni hekalo. Na siku tatu ni safanya nini? Nitainua hekalo. Waliharibu hekalo, akaacha hekalo, akaenda kuzimu, alikuwa bado hai. Siku ya tatu akaja akachukua nini? Hekalo lake na akalibadilisha akaingia ndani yake. Now sasa nataka kusoma kifungu kingine. Ufunuo 17. Ufunuo 17. Kwa hivyo unaweza kuona kwamba kama ni mwana kondoo ali alisulubishwa katika fikira za Mungu za Mungu. Wale ambao alikuwa huyo mwana kondoo ana 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 anauawa kwa ajili ya kuwaokoa majina yao pia ikalipo kibe kibe. Hata kabla hata wakati anauma dunia mpango huu wote huko au huko. Now. Ah, uh, saba kifungu cha 8. Nataka kusoma. Kifungu cha 18. The beast thou thou sowest was and is not. Mwambie nitawambia juu ya the image of this beast. And shall ascend out of the bottom of the pit. And he got into perdition. Yule mnyama uliyemwona alikuwako naye hayuko naye yu tayari kupanda kutoka kuzimu na kwenda kwenye uharibifu. Tume tumeeleza bereni amekuwako hayuko amekuwako we have explained that before what that means. Tumeeleza hiyo hapa wapi? Now, now let's read on. And they that dwell on the earth hiyo ndio maneno niko na haja nao for now. And that that do, and, and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder na hao wakao juu ya nchi watastaajabu whose names were not unajua kiingereza mbona unajua kiingereza whose names were not ambao not not shall, shall not but were not written in the book of life when from the foundation of the world ambao majina yao hayakuandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima cha mwana kondoo kabla ya kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu kabla ya kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu misingi ya ulimwengu dunia ilikuwa imeumbwa na hao wengine majina yao yaliandikwa mlango wa 10 na tunasema kwamba Hawa nao wanaokolewa majina yao yaliandikwa katika kitabu cha cha uzima cha mwana kondoo kabla kuweka msingi ya ulimwengu. Na hata mwokozi wao Mungu aka aliuawa katika fikira za Mungu. Na wale ambao alikufa kwa ajili yake katika fikira za Mungu akajulikana ki kibeli. Na ngoja niulize swali. Kama wale ambao alikuwa aokoe majina yao aliandika anaongeza yaliandikwa <laughs> lini kabla kuwekwa wabiri wanasemaje ukia I amini mean, Yesu leo haleluya jina lako litaandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima ati litaandikwa aliandika kabla wale wanataka kwa Kumkubali Yesu Kristo jaoni hapa wanakuja hapa mna semeni nyuma yangu semeni Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu nisamehe nisamehe alafu sasa anasema nitawaombea anasema sawa sasa majina yenu imeandikwa Amen 
sauti imeandikwa saa hii ameandika Mimi husema hivi katika maisha Mungu ambaye aliniita nikiwa kijana namfurahia sana Amen
akafanyika neno Yofani kutoka neno akaja akafanyika mwili alipokuja kutuokoa na huo mwili kwa kutufia akarudi akarudi hali ya ne? ya neno he went back into the world form now mtoto wake ambaye yuda ni yake kabla hajamzaa kabla hajamzaa ibilisi alimleta ko kongo akaleta kitu kinaitwa mtoto wake lakini hasa mtoto wake yuko da ndani yake sasa mtoto wake basi yule ambaye anapaswa kuwa mtoto wake badala atokane na Mungu mara ya kwanza anakuja na mwili kwanza huu anakuja na mwili sasa lazima Mungu sababu huyu si yule lakini jina hili ni gani ni lile sasa so, lazima azae mtoto mwe, mwenyewe amzae mara ya pili wakati huu azaliwa na na Mungu badala awe na mama na baba Mungu amzae awe na mzazi mmoja na kusomu yeye ni roho yeye ni roho ni sehemu ya roho atatoa aiweke pale iwe dia uh, iwe dia jini atoe roho yake iwe dia jini mwenyewe bila yule jeni wa fulani na fulani au sasa ni jeni wa nani wa Mungu na jeni wa Mungu ni roho ni roho maana kinachozaliwa na roho na Mungu ni roho nacho ni roho alafu hiyo roho ikiwa pale jeni roho jeni roho inasema baba yangu aliye mbinguni si baba yangu aliye murana si baba yangu aliye kisumu si baba yangu aliye kufa miaka 10 iliyopita baba yangu aliye kwa mara ya kwanza jeni ambayo alikuwa akisema baba yangu na mama yangu sasa hasemi baba yangu na mama yangu anasema baba yangu aliye mbinguni amezaliwa na Mungu wa mbinguni hasa father but not a man ana baba lakini ana mama yule jeni alikuwa wakufa lakini huyu jeni hata kufa ati sikiliza watu waliomwamini aliwapa uweza kufanyika watoto wa Mungu yule asikie neno langu na kumsadiki yule aliyetuma ana uzima wa milele kondo wangu anasikia sauti yangu nami nawapa uzima wa milele na wapa uzima wa milele na kwa maana Mungu mimi ni Mungu wa milele na mimi, mimi ni Mungu wa milele na mimi ni roho huyu kondo wangu nikimpa uzima wa milele nitampa roho wangu mwenyewe because i'll give my i'll give my shield part of i am eternal and when i give my shield eternal life i give them part of myself mimi ni wa milele na nikiwa kwa kondo wangu uzima wa milele na wapa sehemu yangu mwenyewe is that right Now. See. Sasa nasikiliza. Ikiwa huyu mtoto na Biblia inasema kwamba hapa katika Waefeso alituchagua ndani yake. Tulikuwa ndani yake. Majina yetu akaandika kabla sisi kuzaliwa na yeye. Akaandika. Sasa tunapokuja hivi, tunakuja hivi ili tuanguke je yeye mwenyewe sawa pia ni mwokozi awe ni yeye ametua kwa. Si ametokoa amechukua dhambi zetu alafu anatupa yeye sisi anatupa sisi yeye mwe, mwenyewe ili tuwe yeye watoto wa Mungu Nao kwa hivyo nimesema hivi kuna sehemu ya Mungu basi Sikiliza Kabla hajakuzaa wewe na roho wake Kabla hajaweka roho yake pale ndani anatuma mhubiri unakutana naye pengine kwa harusi mkuja kwa harusi ya kazi ni yako lakini kumbe huko huko niko Mungu ametuma mhubiri usikie sauti ya Mungu mara ya kwanza umesikia madhehebu ikisema hii dhehebu ile ikisema hivi na hivi lakini anatuma mtumishi wake kabisa anene neno la lenyewe usikie kwa mazishi ya kazi ni yako au ni harusi ya kazi ni yako au shere zote mekuja Usikie kitu bacho bishop wako hawajawahi kukuambia. Ni Mungu ambaye anakuiga. Amen. Ni Mungu ambaye anafanya nini? Anakuiga. Sasa njia yako na yake zinakutana kwa mara ya kwanza. Wewe ni jini. Na iko na na iko na jini wewe kwa kitabu chake cha uzi. Hili jina lilikuwa kwa hata wakati Daudi alikuwa na ua Goliath. 
Sika muda kuwekwa? Sijina alikuwa nalo. Na alikuwa mapanga utakuwa hai kizazi gani? Hiki. Imekuwa nalo. And God is very patient. Mungu anasubia. Sasa ana jeni ndani yake. Kini shetani alileta jeni koboko? Koboko. Wakati neno linaendelea sasa wale watu wengine wananumunika kumbibire kumbibire anatukana jini zetu anatukana makanisa yetu jini akiwa pale anasikia mahubiri hayo ni kama wimbo mstari amen amen ni kwa nini jini aliye ndani ya Mungu anaita huyu amen yes amen na huyu jini ni neno maana Mungu ni neno na jini huyu ni sehemu ya ne? ya neno sasa neno hili linaita linaita je jin jin anasikia sehemu ya yake ikimwi isn't jin anasikia sehemu ya Mungu sehemu ya Mungu ambaye ndio ambaye ni yeye ikimwi nini ikimuita wewe unasomea ni pamoja hapo Psalms 42 amen Zaburi arubaina bini That is what makes the whole of difference Zaburi arubaina bini I want to read verse 7 Psalms 42 Verse 7 Inasema Deep calleth unto deep are the noise of thy water spouts. All thy wings and thy billows are gone over me. Kilindi huita kilindi kwa sauti ya maporomoko ya maji yako. Laika zako zote na mawimbi yako yote yamepita juu yangu. Ni kilindi kinaita kilindi. Kilindi kinaita kilindi. Ni sehemu ya Si lazima Mungu aite jeni. Aite na jeni alizaliwa koboko. Anataka kumzaa sasa mara ya pili. Ni nani atamuita? Alafu Yesu akasema, "Kodoo wangu anasikia." Jeni si mbuzi, yuko miongoni mwa mbuzi. She's not a goat. Si jawa. She. And now, sasa sauti ya Mungu inaita jeni kondoo and i want to stress here <laughs> and i want you to understand today nataka leo uelewe that kwamba you be, why you believe ni kwa sababu 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 unaamini au uliamini ni kufanya uamini uamini all the way to receiving the holy ghost to be to receiving the new birth the supernatural birth na kuendelea hadi kupokea roho takatifu kuzaliwa kiungu kuzaliwa na Mungu mwenyewe na roho wake It is the portion of God that is you that is calling you because you are not supposed to be the way you are you are supposed to be the way he predestined you to be unapaswa kuwa jinsi alivyokuteulia uwe sasa kwamba aliyetuteulia tuwe watakatifu that's what we read here in Ephesians 1 Ndio 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 of the world kabla kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu that we should be holy ili tuwe watakatifu alipanga ya kwamba atakapo tuzaa tutakuwa wa watakatifu lakini sasa kwenye nikwambie lakini tunapozaliwa vile tunavyozaliwa kimwili tunazaliwa katika hali ya nini ya ba ya dhambi lakini yeye alipanga ya kwamba atazaa watoto wake wata watakatifu sasa kama wewe jina lako alikusudia kuwa wewe ndiye mmoja wa binti zake au wanake wana uwezo 
sons or daughters kuna sehemu yake ambayo hujafanyika wewe lakini ukazaliwa bila umezaliwa ili uanguke katika dhambi uanguke katika dhambi ili ye mwenyewe akuvi akuvie na kisha osha dhambi zako toka hapo sasa anaweza kukuleta bile alipa, ulipaswa ku kuja lazima akuzae ye mwenyewe ufanyike ye yeye aweke roho yake pale roho yake ndio jin na hiyo jin aliyekuwa akisema wahome na waamoyo baba yangu na mama yangu jin anasema baba yangu alia biguni ni nini nasema baba yangu alia biguni hiyo roho maana jin hapebi roho ya utumwa iletayo hofu bali amepewa roho ya kumfanya binti ambaye kwa hiyo roho jin anasema aba baba baba mwenyewe wa biguni akishuhudia kopa ile roho inanoita pale ndani ya jeni ni roho ya na ni binti yangu no listen please kama aliandika majina yetu hivyo yule ambaye hajakuja bado ana hiyo sehemu ana yule binti da ndani yake na yule binti ndiye yule pale sasa anakuja kumuita anapohubiri kupitia mhubiri kama mimi jeni anasikia sehemu ya Mungu itimuita is going calling ni Mungu anaita si mhubiri anaita si mhubiri anataka jeni aje aongeze kanisa liwe kubwa
Don't get me who. Kama huku wa dani yake, uwezi kuwa mini. 
Sababu ni yule aliyekuwa ndani yake akaja kwanza jiabaya die ile sehemu ndio inaita ndani ile ili ibadilishe ile iwe mtoto wa Mungu. Watu akawapa uweza power to be to become. Atakubadilisha kuwa mtoto mtoto wake. So wewe ni mtoto wake ulikuja vibaya. Kwa hivyo kuna portion ya Mungu ina ina inaitana. Na siwezi kuitwa na portion. Siwezi kuitwa na portion. Sikeitwa na portion yako. Kila mtu anaitwa na portion yake hiyo ndani ya Mungu. So you can you can kama nilisema hapa mbona saya hawezi kuitika. Ndio. Ndio maana hata tunapoiba hiyo aseme tunasikia kuitwa. Sasa kila mtu anasema nasikia kuitwa. Amen. Is is a individual calling. Anaweza ita mzee na mama anasikia kama ni sufuria zinapigwa. Na siku ya kuchukua watoto wake alisema nitatoa nitachukua moja kwa kitanda ni waje amen not christianity is not a family affair no christo si jambo la jamii amen msikia watu wengine kiliza mtoto wako anaweza kwenda kule akitembea hivi akutana na ne na neno mtoto wako na awe ni moja wa eh wa watoto wake wa Mungu. Alafu naamini tunamshika tunambatiza katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo na muzika ndani ya maji katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Huyo mtoto anaweza kupenda Mungu amjaze na nini? Na roho. Sasa ni binti yangu huyu. Akifika nyumbani pengine nyumbani nyinyi wote ni wakatoliki. Mzee anasema hapa kwa kwa hakutasomwa dini mbili. <laughs> Ukisoma dini nyingine hapa tafuta mtu wa kulipia yeye school fees. Alafu naona mtoto anachagua asilipiwe lakini hii hawezi kuachana naye. Ni nini? Amesikia sehemu ya Mungu ya Mungu. Mzee asikii kile kimeita bintie lakini binti ameitwa na mwito. Sisi ni dini nyingine amejiunga nayo amesikia heavenly mwito wa Mungu. Watu imetoka wapi? Amen. Amen. Let me tell you. Na hiyo ikifanyika hata ushikwe utamushwe na mafuta kama Yohana. Au usulubishwe umeinama kama Petro. Au ushikwe uwekwe ndani upigwe viboko uletwe mbele ya kud na viongozi wa dini wanakwambia tumewaonya msieneze hii habari mmejaza na kuru mzima Yerusalemu mzima tutawaachilia lakini msidhubutu Petro anasema nani cha uweni kama tutasikiliza nini au Mungu maana hatutaweza kunena na kushuhudia yale tumesikia tumeona tumesikia yeye si mtu amemuita yani kuna sehemu ya the portion of god in vita was define every pain sehemu ya mungu katika petro ambayo ilikuja hapo ndio ilikuwa inapuuza 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 uchungu inapuuza shit nini tisho inapuuza jela inapuuza viboko haisiki Mungu anasema yule ashindaye huwezi kushida yeye ndiye anakuwa anashinda Yesu alisema mtashida kwa kuwa nimeshida na ni nini ambacho kinashida Yesu alisema Waya tome ni nini ambacho kinashida Now tafikiri ni waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana mlango wa 4 the first epistle of John chapter 4 First John 4 Good guess. Ya, mlango wa 4 wa wataka wa kwanza wa Yohana. Kibungu cha 4. First John 4 verse 4. 
Yohana wa kwanza mlango wa ina kibumu cha ile kinasema yaro go little children and have overcome them that is those spirit unaweza kusoma vifungu vinavyotangulia nasema hizo hizo roho za ulimwengu nyinyi ni wa Mungu watoto wadogo and have overcome them nanyi mmewashinda because kwa sababu greater is he that is in you ye ni ndiye aliye ndani yenu ni mkuu than he that is in the world kuliko yeye aliye katika dunia na nini aliye ndani yenu Yesu alisema ninaenda na ninarudi nikirudi nitakuwa ndani yenu mtashinda kwa kuwa nimeshinda kwa kuwa mmoja kushinda mimi nitakuja nikae ndani yenu that's John 14 nani ana shida sisi na nguvu zetu oye ni kwambie umeona wa mbili wanashika kitu wanasema katika jina la Yesu katika jina mpaka sauti yake inapotea let me tell you roho wa Mungu roho wa Mungu akiniambia kama ndugu yako hapa aliambia ndugu yako hapa ni kibofu huyu ndugu ni kibofu roho wa Mungu aniambie nenda kampa macho yake nitaenda pale na sisi mimi nitakuwa ninaenda kumpa macho ni yule ameni amenituma ame nikitamuka sisi mimi nitakuwa nikitamuka ni yeye atakuwa akitumia ulimi wangu macho yake haitafunguka kwa sababu nimesema macho yake itafunguka kwa sababu yule aliyemumba ameamuru ifunguke kwa hiyo sisi tunasema mara mbili ni sasa mara mara maana sisi tunasema mimi ni roho ni roho anasema The spirit speaking. Jesus said you are not knowing the scriptures. Unakosa kwa kutojua maandiko. Now That's right. Now, Mungu sehemu ya Mungu ambaye ni wewe dia inafanya nini? Inakuita. Na hiyo sehemu ni neno. Mungu ni neno. Mungu ni neno. Na neno la mtu na sauti ya mtu ni, ni maneno yeah. ya mtu. Na kodo wangu wanasikia sauti yangu. Kodo wangu wanasikia sauti yangu. Kumbuka kusema kodo wanasikia sauti. Anasema kodo wa yule aliye wake na yule aliye wake alimjua nini? kimbele anasikia sauti yake so the portion of god that you are supposed to be sehemu ya mungu ambayo unapaswa kuwa and you not been born the way you are born kama hungekuwa umezaliwa jinsi ulivyozaliwa kama hungezaliwa jinsi ulivyozaliwa and came direct from god na ukaja wima kutoka kwa mungu you would be the portion that is in god today ungekuwa sehemu hiyo iliyo ndani ya mungu leo But now that you came the way you came. Lakini kwamba ulizaliwa jinsi ulivyokuja jinsi ulivyokuja. Ni Savior. Ni ni Mungu awe mwokozi. Is that right? Mm. Now Sasa. that the portion that you are supposed that you are supposed to be you. Sehemu ile ilipaswa kuwa wewe. Is calling you. Inakuita to be eight. Ufanyike hiyo. Basically sehemu ya Mungu. Ya Mungu. Ya Mungu. Amen. See. You heard from your theophany umesikia Uli. ulisikia kutoka kwa theophany yako amen that's the prophet speaking is it you heard from your theophany ulisikia and what is theophany the word theophany ni nini neno you heard from your theophany ulisikia kutoka kwa theophany yako you heard from your word ulisikia kutoka kwa neno lako kutoka neno lako kutoka neno lako you're supposed to be the word yes And what you are supposed to be is calling you Nagi. to be what you are supposed to be. Na kile ulipaswa kuwa ndicho kinachokuita uwe kile ulipaswa kuwa. See? Oh, that's right. Kwa sababu tunaenda kwa kitu. Now. Sasa. Let me quote something here. Kwa chanuku kitu kutoka hapa. It's not persuasion. Sikusha kusikushawishi. Kuja juu na kanisa letu. There is nothing like that. Hakuna kitu kama hicho. Kuna kitu kama hicho. Now. 
Now, can we get into heaven without being in the church, in the body? Je, tunaweza kufika mbinguni bila kuwa katika kanisa mwili? You can't be in the church until you are born unless until you are born again. Uwezi kuwa katika kanisa mpaka uzaliwe mara ya pili. And you can't go to heaven until you are born again. Na huwezi kwenda mbinguni kabla hujazaliwa mara ya pili. If you are born again, ukizaliwa mara ya pili, you are in the church. Uko ndani ya kanisa. So you can't go to heaven until you are a member of this church. Kwa hivyo huwezi kwenda mbinguni isipokuwa ufuatie mshirika wa kanisa hili. Mpaka uwe uwe mshirika wa kanisa hili. And you can't be a member until you are born into it. Na huwezi kufanyika mshirika mpaka uzaliwe ndani yake. And now let me smooth you a little. Na hebu nikuchune kidogo. And you can't be a member na huwezi kuwa mshirika unless God has called you to be a member. Kama Mungu hakukuita uwe mshirika. Amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo nani Koja kidogo. Alikuita nini? Koja kidogo. Koja kisiko usikie. Nataka kusoma Yohana 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 Sita John 6 Yohana Sita Yohana Sita Dilavina Saba Tatu Seven Yohana Sita Dilavina Saba Inasema All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Wote anipawa baba watakujia kwangu. Wala yeyote ajai kwangu, sita mtupa kamwe. Nje kamwe. 44. No man can come to me. Is it? No man can come to me except the father which had sent me draw him hakuna mtu awezaye kuja kwangu asipovutwa na baba alinipeleka and i will raise him up at the last day nami nitamfufua siku ya mwisho bora kidogo usikie hakuna anayeweza kuja kwangu asipovutwa na baba na baba nenda kutana unajua kuvutwa na baba ni kumaanisha nini ngoja nikueleze si mtoto huyu yuko ndani ya baba. Mm. Si ndani ya baba. Mm. Baba ajamzaa. Na huyu mtoto ndiye huyu alizaliwa kopo hapa. Na huyu ndiye anapaswa kuwa huyu. Mm. Sasa huyu ndio aje aje kwa Yesu itabidi baba baba yuko naye ndani yake afanye nini? <laughs> Amuelekeze. Mm. So nani 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 ana Nani anamweka mahali pake? Mm. Baba. Na baba ni nini? Ni sehemu ya baba ambayo aliyo. Mm. The portion of the father that he ate mm. is that's my baba abusai. Mm. Hiyo sehemu ndio ina inaunguta. Mm. Ah, you are not supposed to be you are not supposed to be born the way you are born. Mm. I was supposed to be him. Now here yeah, I can. Sasa ndio mimi I'm going to be mtoto wangu kutoka ah, leo. Yes. Na ili uwe mtoto wangu mimi nakupa power hii. Sasa wewe ni mtoto wangu kwa hiyo power. Hiyo power ndio mtoto wangu. Hiyo roho ndio mtoto wangu. Nimekuzaa. Amen. Now. Wezi, wezi kuja kwake usipovutwa na baba. Wezi wezi kuja kwake usipovutwa na baba. Now listen to this. Sikiliza hii. Hii mambo yote unaona inaendeshwa na watu. Ni mambo ya watu wanaendesha mambo yao wenyewe. Na Yesu akasema and I've quoted the scripture. Na ni akasema you are not knowing. Sasa kwa sasa I want to read this one here. Tutasoma hii hapa. There is no way at all of getting a man to God. Hamuna njia kabisa ya kuweza kuleta mtu kwa Mungu unless he is predestinated to be a son of God. Isipokuwa awe ameteuliwa kuwa mtoto wa Mungu. Hakuna njia naweza kumkuta. Hakuna njia. Hata ukisikia tukihubiri, sisi ni kuhubiri tunahubiri. 
Mali hilo neno linaenda hiyo sina I have no power over that. Sina uweza juu ya hiyo. Yule ambaye anaitwa na hiyo mahubiri mimi sijui. Yeye die. Unajua. Sasa mimi nakuja kuona huyu mtu anakuja na machozi. Sasa mnataka kutubu babu zangu. Nakuja. Kazi yangu ni kumshika nyumba, batize na maji. Nikisha mbatiza bado yeye mwenyewe unajua hajasaliwa na Mungu. Ni juu ya Mungu sasa amjaza na na roho wake amfanye mtoto wake hiyo kazi siwezi ni ya nani ni ya yule anayemwi muita yeye anakuja kukamilisha hiyo kazi ya wako sasa unaona mimi sina kazi si kama kwenye kwa bi kama tungeweza kama ingekuwa katika if if only it was within my power kama ingekuwa katika uwezo wangu ningeleta kila ndugu zangu zote na my aunt na kila mtu watu nikemuleta kwa hii but unfortunately akili bahati mbaya katika nyumba moja Esau si wa biguni Yakobo ni wa biguni Ishmaeli si wa ufalme Isaka ndiye wa ufalme <coughs> sio inakuwa namna hiyo mtoto ni wa ufalme baba na mama si wa ufalme baba ni wa ufalme mke wake si wa ufalme si sinona kwa sababu bila sema hapa the scripture says here warumi na kiri asimbi shibi warumi tisa warumi tisa mcha 14 Now wacha ni hasa hapa tu kitu cha nani Au kitu cha 9 Au sasa tu nani For this is the word of promise for of the of promise Kwa maana neno la ahadi ni hili At this at this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son Hapo wakati huu nitakuja na Sara atakuwa na mwana. Nani alisema hivyo? Mungu. Alimwambia nani? Ibrahim. Nasikiliza vizuri. And not only this. Wala si hivyo tu. But when Rebecca also had conceived by one even by our father Isaac lakini Rebecca naye akiisha kuchukua mimba kwa mume mmoja naye ni Isaka baba yetu sikiliza vizuri kwa mume mmoja kwa mume mmoja for the children being not yet born neither having done any good or evil that the purpose of God predestination according to election predestination by stand not of works Amen. But of him that called who called God. Naitai. Hebu nimesoma hiyo. Kwa maana kabla hawajazaliwa wale watoto wala hawajatenda neno jema wala baya. Mhm. Hawajatenda neno jema. Wamezaliwa. Ndio, asema wewe kwa sababu umekuwa mlevi bi nimekukataa. Wewe kwa sababu umekuwa mtu wa sadi sikuru wewe ni mtu mzuri wewe ni mtu wa. Hawajazaliwa. Lakini Mungu ana majina yaliyoandikwa katika kitabu cha Mwana Kondoo kabla kuwekwa Kwa hiyo hata kabla hata wakati baba yako alikuwa kadogo hajawa mama yako wa kuzae mambo ya baba yako na mama yako yote ilikuwa imekwisha kwa Mungu au la au Mungu alikuwa anagoja mama yako aje aone kama ataamini ndio andike jina lake Mungu atembee na kitabu na kalamu Forget about those things You err not knowing Yes kosa maandiko Mungu ni mkuu sana mm. Mkuu sana He controls everything Yeye anatawala vitu mambo yote hali zote na mambo yote Aha uh-huh. uh-huh. Hawajatenda neno jema wala baya 
Ili nisimame kusudi la Mungu la kuchagua. Ili nisimame kusudi la Mungu la kuchagua. Yesu alisema katika Yohana 10:13 kwamba hapo kunichagua mimi, mimi ndiye niliye wachagua. Ili kusudi lake lisimame la kuchagua. Na alichagua lini? Kabla kuweka misingi ya ulimwengu. Si kwa sababu ya matendo bali kwa sababu ya nia yake aitae aitae si kwa sababu ya matendo yako mabaya au mazuri mazuri aliandiwa it was said unto her akaandiwa hivi the elder shall serve the younger mkubwa atamtumikia mdogo wamezaliwa as it is written kama ilivyoandikwa jacob have i loved Nimempenda Yakobo but Esau have I hated. Bali Esau nimemchukia. <coughs> Wamezaliwa? Bado. Si. Si. Haya zaliwa. Ni kwa kama mambo ilifanya nini? Kisha. Ai kisha wakati huu ilikwisha kabla Adam hata Adam huko. Inaweza unakuja duniani ukiwa wewe ni wa Uthmani au ni wa ni wa kupotea. And you can't help it. Hawezi kujisaidia unakuja duniani bila kujua sisi ni akina nani lakini kwa jamii moja au nyingine inakuwa ya kwamba Mungu alichojua kidele sasa anatui anatuinda anatuinda na kutupata hawezi ku resist kama alikuzudia hawezi ku resist au si wewe si wewe unataka kuja yeye anakuvuta Yesu alisema draw you are being drawn anakuvuta lazima mpango wake u mtimie what shall we say then tuseme nini basi tuseme nini basi is there unrighteousness with God God forbid at verse 14 tuseme nini basi kuna udhalimu kwa mungu for he said God forbid for he said unto Moses maana amwambia Musa I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy nitamrehemu yeye ni mrehemu ye I will have compassion on whom I love compassion nitamhurumia yeye ni mhurumiaye so then basi kama ni hivyo that you will si katika uwezo wa yule atakaye nor of him that runneth wala wa yule apigaye ndio that of god that sheweth mercy bali wa yule arehemue yaani mungu for the scripture say that to pharaoh kwa maana maandiko yamwambia farao even for this very for the same purpose Have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Nimekusimamisha kwa kusudi hili ili nionyeshe nguvu zangu kwako jina langu litangazwe katika dunia yote. Therefore have he mercy on whom you have mercy and whom he will be hardened. Basi kama ni hivyo atakaye kumrehemu humrehemu na atakaye kumfanya mgumu kumfanya mgumu that that will say the name to me basi utaniambia why do the idiot find fault for who has received this with mbona angalia kila huu kwani maana ni nani ashinda naye na kusudi lake nay but oh man who art thou that replies against god la sivyo e mwanadamu wewe unani umjibuie Mungu? 
Shall the thing formed be say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Ye, kitu kilichoumbwa kimwambie yeye aliyekiumba, kwa nini kuniumba hivi? Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lamb to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Au mfinyazi je, hana amri juu ya udongo kwa fungu moja la udongo kuumba chombo kimoja kiwe cha heshima na kimoja kiwe hakina heshima? What if God willing to show his wrath? Kwa sababu alikuwa Mungu hasi. Kwa hiyo lazima aupe kitu, aupe mtu mwingine awe jeuri. Ili kwa sababu hii hasira Mungu aliyonayo hawezi mambo yawezi kumalizika kabla haijaonyeshwa. Sasa ni nani kama itaonyeshwa si sasa lazima yeye ndiye atatekeleza kitu kifanye nini? Kimukasirishe kimwasi. Yo atoe hii hasira. Auna mara. Asipofanya hivyo nawe na control watu wote waamini hasira yake itaonyeshwa kwa nani? Ndio lazima awe na control kila kitu. And that he might uh, uh, and that he might make known the riches of his glory, the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he had afore, which he had afore prepared unto glory. When? Before the foundation of the world, yeah? Nini basi? Ikiwa Mungu kwa kutaka kuonyesha adhabu yake na kudhihirisha uweza wake kwa uvumilivu mwingi alichukuliana na vile vyombo vya adhabu vilivyofanywa tayari kwa uharibifu tena ili audhihirishe uwingi wa, uh, uta, wa utajiri wake uh, utajiri wake katika vile vyombo vya rehema alivyotengeneza tangu zamani vipate utukufu tangu zama. zamani zamani tangu zamani kabla dunia kuumbwa vipate u utukufu even us ndio sisi ndio sisi aliyotumika ihabi <laughs> ah ndio sisi ambao ame ameita sasa unaona ametuita kulikuwa na bidi ameamua leo au unaona alifanya bae Bele. Alikuja nyamu ile bele. Sasa anapokuita kutuita, anakuja kutuita vile alivyopanga zama? zamani. A four. Zamani. Sio <coughs> sisi. Sio sisi. Atakuwa watu wazuri. Yes. Lakini yeye aliyokuwa ameamua ya kwamba tutakuwa watakatifu. Amen. Atatubadilisha tu watu wabaya wa hovu, atufanya wa watakatifu kwa kutuzaa tu yeye mwenyewe. Ngoja kidogo nisome nitawaachilia lakini wacha nisome andiko lingine hapa for a let him go Mlango wa 8 wa Warumi Romans 8 Warumi 8 Na tafuta kibungu cha 28 verse 28 verse 28 Now, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called. That is here we keep to kind the calls. Particular people. To particular people. Not everybody. Definite article the the called. Wale walioitwa according to his purpose. He has a purpose. Anakusudi. So he is calling them because he he Ana... planned something concerning them. Anawaita kwa sababu alipanga kitu fulani kwa ajili yao. Nasi twajua ya yeah. Nasi twajua ya kuwa mambo yote hutendeka kuleta mema kwa wale wampenda wa Mungu ndio wale walioitwa kwa kusudi lake. Anawaita kwa kusudi. Kusudi sababu maisha yao yote alipanga kipepo for whom he did for no 
maana wale ambao wajua tangu asili wanajulikana wakati wanakuja duniani au walijulikana kibele kabla dunia kubwa he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son akawakusudia wafananishwe na sura ya mwana wake na huyu mwana wake tuliona kwamba yeye alisulubishwa katika mawazo mu kabla ya kuwekwa akasema kwamba wale ambao wataokolewa na yeye watakuwa wataka watakatifu Dati mai among many brethren. Ili yeye awe mzaliwa wa kwanza miongoni mwa ndugu wengi. Ndio hiyo naona Mungu alikuja hapa akajifanya mwana wa Mungu ili akoe wana wa Mungu waliopotea. Alafu akimaliza hiyo anarudi yeye ni Mungu Mungu yule yule. Moreover whom he did predestinate them he also called. Na wale aliochagua tangu asili hao akawaita. Akawa akawaita akawaita Haisemi haisemi hao anawaita no aka akawaita Zama and whom he called them he also justified Na wale aliowaita hao akawahesabia haki And whom he justified them he also glorified Na wale aliowahesabia haki hao akawatukuza Si ndio nasema kama Mungu alipaka mambo haya mazuri juu yetu ni kitu gani ambacho kitakuja kibadilishe Eh? Mungu alikujua kidele jina lako amekuwa nalo kabla David Livingstone kutembea hapa jina hilo lilikuwa badiliko hapa. Unapokuja duniani Mungu yuko upande gani? Upande wako. Mimi nitabadilisha? Utakufa kwa matatu kabla hajakuita kutana na roho yake hata matatu hiyo kibigirika wote na wewe ni mmoja baada kusudia utabaki pe kwa sababu huwezi kufa mpaka afanye nini amalize kukuita iko mkono unaotuendesha usioneka usioneka amen sehemu ya Mungu ambayo ni wewe ya inakui ndio maana akiitana akiitana nasikia mtu mwingine anasikia lakini mwingine anasikia nasikia namna gani you don't have anything in you Hauna. to answer his story mtu na kuna chochote ndani yako cha kujibu mwito wake cha kujibu nini mwito wake portion of god sehemu ya Mungu kuna sehemu ya Mungu ambayo iliniita mimi amen right kuna sehemu yake ambayo iliniita kuna nilipoteza ila mwana wa 